Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the counselor's office. Ah, Mr. Gaming Counselor. And we are here in the counselor's office for some more Destiny 2. We are going to give, I'm going to give you, should I say, my first impressions and thoughts of Pantheon. Yes, I have had several of you guys take the time to tell me, Mr. Gaming Counselor, what's your opinion? What are your thoughts on Pantheon? And what I mean by a couple of you guys requesting my opinion, I mean absolutely no one at all asked. No one absolutely asked me that. But just like the rest of the internet, I'm going to give you my opinion anyways. So buckle up, cowboy and cowgirl. We're getting her done. <laughs> I just want to say overall, I do like Pantheon. I think it's neat. It's cool. I did not expect it to be really these encounters i didn't expect it mechanically to change much and it really didn't overall they added a couple new enemies like tormentors for the last two encounters they had some minotaurs uh like taking minotaurs for gays people it, during golgoroth you have to worry about that they also added a ogre in the back overall we'll have to wait to see how things go throughout the weeks because some of these enemies might change again for all we know we might get champions some <laughs> i don't know we'll have to wait and see but for the first week experience overall being negative five it felt like normal raiding to me another day of the raid with the clan just some of these raids we have not done in a couple years so it what most well-oiled teams take 30 minutes 20 minutes 24 minutes ours took an hour after removing all the failed attempts and all the successes it would have taken us 24 if we did it right the first time so which is not pretty bad 24 minutes for each correct way of doing it not bad i think we're going to do much better tomorrow not tomorrow but uh and then next week it'll be negative 10 however we're only going to get orcs the team pretty much knows the other encounters it's not until we start getting into week three and week four that things get a little more spicier overall i think it's awesome i like the whole platinum chase thing really cool it gets kind of like a competition like okay we got to be fast we got to get points you get adepts which honestly i have everything crafted except for like the the root of nightmares sidearm so i have everything i have all the god rolls but it was really cool to get some adepts i actually got excited i was like ah we got adept we got an adept sidearm it was actually pretty freaking neat i love the spoils the spoils is cool the the chase emblem and there is a god slayer title which is really cool and i think that will be probably my go-to title because it will be probably the hardest title to get in the game i mean compared to everything else it probably will be the hardest one overall it's a fun little neat experience it's free it's a little paradoxical when it comes to the advertisement of like the fact that this is free and the weapons are from paid content raids but if you do it this pantheon you can get these weapons for free without having to pay for the whole like expansion it's a little paradoxical because it makes you wonder who is this meant for here it is you want to know who pantheon is for veteran raiders veteran raiders returning raiders that's who it's meant for it's not it's not meant for new players it's not meant for casual andies it's not it's not for you i'm sorry i have to be brutally honest but if you don't know what you're doing pantheon is not for you please please don't do pantheon not only are you going to have a bad time but you're going to absolutely ruin the experience of everyone else in the raid if you want to go and join a sherpa group and they they say we are wanting to sherpa help people that's acceptable but if you join a group that and you say you know what to do and you're knowing of what to do is I watched XYZ 
uh, content creator. I saw McCheese 5000. He told me what to do in five minutes. I know what to do. No, you don't know what to do. Don't do Pantheon. Pantheon is not a Make-A-Wish run kind of raid. I hate Root of Nightmares because it actively makes people think that the average raiding experience is I get to just sit and do ad clear. That's not the case. Pantheon, especially as weeks go on, Pantheon is going to get harder. And the, the percentage of people who are going to deal with the bullcrap of people who don't know what to do is going to get lower and lower and lower. And right now, Elf Jesus is a, is a dumpster fire. It is literally on fire and it's only going to get worse. And I say this as a PSA for everyone's mental health, for people who want to do Pantheon. Listen, I get it. If you want to get into raiding, I think that's a fantastic. I think that's exciting. I think you should absolutely do that. Not Pantheon. Pantheon is not meant for you. It is meant for the veterans. It is prestigious. It's meant to be prestigious. It's not fair. But it's not meant for you. And I think part of it is Bungie's fault for advertising. Hey, it's free. It came with Onslaught. And Onslaught had like the easy baby mode of do 10 waves or the normal wave and was very generous with loot. And so people think, oh, well, Pantheon is the same way. And you get red borders, you can catch up on get exotics and people are getting exotics that they were locked out of because they only did certain expansions. But now you can get all these exotics that you never had. But the problem is, is you can't get all these exotics because you're not meant to. It's not, not for you. Again, you find a stripper group and they they help you. That's great. I'm 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 glad you found a group. But as we get through the weeks, as it gets harder, the percentage of people willing to do sherpas, let alone carries, goes down. Your frustration level will go up. You need to set your expectations because week four is essentially a day one experience where some of the hardest boss in de bosses in destiny history is going to be back to back to back this is not a root of nightmare situation where i can do adclear.com no you will need to know what to do you will need to be able to do it efficiently you will need to be able to have a good meta build you are going to have to survive you are going to have to go do good dps and if you can't fit any of these slots you are not going to make it through week four i'm sorry it's brutally honest but i have to say it because people just don't comprehend or understand what this is they don't know what this game mode is it's not meant for casuals it and when i say casuals i don't mean the casual person who plays raids you obviously know how to raid you've had you have experience fantastic but this is not meant for the people who have not done any raids if you've never done caretaker you will probably never get pantheon done you will probably not get god slayer in day one people got stuck on caretaker because it was a dps check Rolk. People couldn't be Val because of, I said Ron, both Caretaker and Rolk are Val Disciple Raid bosses. People struggled to complete it because of that. Planets. People couldn't beat Root because Planets was the hardest encounter. Even Nezarak wasn't even hard. And some people still struggled in Nezarak. Atrax was the biggest gatekeeping like tanix once you got the tanix people finished the raid on day one for deep stone crypt but people could not survive or do anything in a tracks encounter and i'm here to tell you it will be the exact same in like two weeks right? when it, everything's contest mode not only that but riven if Riven comes out and they've patched the cheese for Riven, that is a large chunk of the community that is not going to do Riven, especially on contest mode, because most people don't even know how to do Riven legit. So set your expectations. The 
that if you are fortunate to kind of cheese your way through this week, you spent three hours with a group and you finally got done, just realize you probably will not be able to do it next week. And if you do it next week, you probably won't do it the next week or the week after next. And I'm not saying if you just, you're a raider who struggles in general, you might have raiding experience and you still have, you know, struggle to find good teams. That's still going to be an equation, right? Just like any day one encounter, um, you're going to struggle finding a team that's competent. What you all should be doing is this should be prep time. If you are actively wanting to do the final shape day one raid, this should be your time to find a clan, a dedicated raid group. And you need to treat Pantheon as practice. Because if you struggle with Pantheon as is now, you will struggle day one on a raid that you have no experience on, that no one has experience on. So you need to treat this as practice. Absolutely treat this as practice. Now, moving on, like I said, I'm not the only one with this opinion. I am not at all. My experience of Pantheon. Oh, here we are. I'm going to go to react to you. My experience with Pantheon. So Pantheon dropped yesterday and I can't have, I don't have a raid group. So always use fire team finder. That's your big mistake. Don't use next week. You people will come to have a Jesus moment that they, they, they realized I'm not going to be able to do this on fire team finder. You will absolutely not do this without a mic with Pantheon. Every group I create or joined has had three or four people who don't know the mechanics and just add clear without mentioning that they have no clue what's going on. All the posts I put up have had experience requested in the title and mic required. Then people show up without mics and any idea of what to do. If you're going to join an LFG that requests experience, please have experience. It's ridiculous. Is this happening to other people or just me? It's it happen, It's happening everywhere. That's why LFG is on fire. Listen, if you're these people that, do, that join just like this, you're a piece of crap. And I hope you never have any success with Pantheon. I hope your day is ruined. I hope you step on a Lego, you freaking pricks. You are the people that ruin the raid experience for everyone else. It is absolutely okay for you to ask for help, make postings for someone to teach you. I mean, I still don't think you should do it in Pantheon, but I can't stop you. And there's still people that are going, they're willing to do it. There's still people willing to do Sherpas. If you are just impatient and you don't want to take the time to try to find a group that will Sherpa you, that's a you problem. When you are selfish enough to lie and be deceitful and you are not respecting the prompts of what people are demanding in a group, you are a piece of crap. You deserve failure. You deserve to be shunned. You deserve to have your time wasted and to be disappointed. It is so disrespectful to waste other people's time because you're a selfish piece of crap. And that's toxic, but there's nothing more toxic than ruining someone else's day because you are selfish. Because you did, you lied, because you are being deceitful and you are not respecting other people's wishes. Most people, especially on when things become contest mode in two more weeks after this third, second week, week four, everything hits contest mode. 90% of people will want people who actually have done the encounters, who know what they're doing and have raid experience. And you can bet that everyone who tries to form a group will be checking raid report. And you will not be allowed to play. I would say about 5-10% to 10 might be willing to Sherpa. But most people are going for the completion and they're they're done, right? Once you get to contest mode, most people are not going to want to farm that. Unless it's for content or whatever else reasons. And it's... it's, it's, it's I am being as realistic and upfront and honest as possible. What you should be doing, instead of jumping in and lying and being deceitful, you need to find a group 
that you can learn with. Go do some no normal raids. Learn the raids. Find a team that you can connect with, that you can make friends with, and make that your team. Play with each other. Get a build experience. If you want to do raids, then you should 100% do that. But don't be a detriment. If your existence, the fabric of you being in someone else's reality is a detriment, you need to walk away from Destiny. I did my first run with my clan. It was great. I loved it. And then I did an LFG because I wanted to know what the experience is. I, I've been he seeing people like this posting on Twitter and seeing it. I want to experience it. I spent an hour and 20 minutes on two of the four encounters. Golgoroth, Pete, the, the person who requested people to join, did not know how to do gaze. We would drop the pool on one side, and then he would go and take gaze of Golgoroth across the way. So we were crisscrossing. So we, we failed multiple times. Caretaker. Once we got it, it took like 30 minutes to do Golgoroth, by the way. Once we got the caretaker, unironically, we did uh, struggle with the glyph team, the people who had to do glyphs. But once they got their crap together, and by the way, the person that did it had never done glyphs before, but they got into it, they, they got into the motion where they were the team that was most efficient. That's right. The encounter and the jobs that they did were the hardest ones. The people that struggled was the stun team and the ad clear. <gasps> and I was on the stun team. But the problem is, is I would shoot the caretaker in the face and the guy behind who had the easiest job ever of just sitting back and hitting the crit and his back failed to do that and took forever. And then whenever the roles were swapped and I was like, you need to get his face and you need to shoot it. He would go up on the third floor. We made it the far as we went is the third floor. He got up to the caretaker. The caretaker just slams and kills him. And he's like, oh, I died. Why'd I die? Well, I don't know because you didn't shoot him in the face. You just stood there and let him Hulk smash you to oblivion. And then we had dudes who didn't know how to do anything and they wanted to do ad clear and they suck at it. There's, n listen, if you want to do ad, nothing but ad clear and you still suck at that, you need to get off. You need to get off destiny. <laughs> Just go play Fortnite. Uh, that's, that's being toxic. Now I'm being toxic, but literally an hour and 20 minutes of my life because people suck and don't know what they're doing. And it's people like that, that make people have a negative connotation of casual players or people who are inexperienced. That's what causes people to have this negative thought process. Oh, it's the casuals that are ruining the game. And I'm always advocating for casuals. I'm always advocating for new players. But the, you got, the community really shoots itself in the foot when people do crap like this and they ruin other people's experience. Where people are forcing you to play the game to actually participate. And that's the thing. We're going to get into encounters where everyone has to do something. You have to do the mechanics. You have to do DPS. You have to survive. And talking about DPS, that same group that I did uh, the caretaker with, I had 7.4 million damage. And all, I was using Needle Storm on my, my Strand Warlock. And I was using Edge Transit. And I did 7.4 million. The high, next highest damage was 4 million. I did almost more damage than three people on our team combined. And one of those dudes had a Void Tapen. It's a linear rifle. It's Void. It makes sense. It matched one of the, the, the surges. But the problem is it had enhanced triple tap. Mr. Gaming Counselor, did it have uh, a damage perk? No, it didn't. Did it have something at least of utility and use? Sure, if you think enhanced opening shot on a linear is, is utility. <laughs> I, I was so confused that he had enhanced opening shot on a linear. It shoots in a straight line already. Like, is there hidden tech where it turns you into a freaking dark side 
from the DC universe where your linear shot just zigzags and it hits the crit spot for free. Like, that's cool if that's how that works. Like, I want opening shot in my linear if it just shoots and hits the crit spot immediately. Ay, ay, ay. Those are the people that do not belong in Pantheon. In Atrax, it took us 30 minutes because people died on, when at the bottom. People died. They kept dying. And their excuse was, there's too many ads. We're negative five under right now. Just this, this week. Negative five. And you're telling me the ads are too hard? There's too many? I can do legend onslaught with blueberries who can do better ad clear and survive are you joking there's no and that's what that that's when i had this realization that no one should be touching fire team finder next week and for the preceding pantheon weeks you need to find a raid group that is competent check your raid reports and you need to stick together for the next couple weeks if you want to have success do not do fire team finder you will be disappointed. It, is, it will become to a point where it is literal cancer. There are people in, in the Destiny community who have no, no right. I mean, they have a right, but they have no reason to be in Pantheon. They should not be in there. Absolutely not. There, they, there are people that will literally cause you cancer. And as a mental health PSA, do not waste, no, set limits for yourself. When you find a group, set limits for yourself. I'm gonna give so many tries. I'm gonna invest so much time and then I'm, I'm leaving. Do not pigeonhole yourself into feeling that you are required to stay. Know your health, know your sanity, and oh, know your time. Your time is valuable. Don't let other people waste it. If you know you have someone on your team that is wasting it, you can whisper the leader and say, hey, I, this is what's going on. I'm noticing this. I don't want to be jerk. This person is really holding us back. And if they do nothing or you look like the bad guy, just leave. Absolutely leave. Just leave. And that's it. That's my thoughts on Pantheon. I think Pantheon is fantastic. It's not for it's for veterans and returning Destiny Raiders, but it is absolutely not for overall for every person in the community. It is not. And it will continue to get harder and it will continue to cut down on the population who will complete it. I still think God Slayer will be probably one of the rarest titles in the game because it will be one of the hardest ones. It will have prestige. And I think that's okay. Is it elitist? Yeah, this is probably one of the most elitist videos I've ever made. But that's how the cookie crumbles. Every game has some kind of prestige. WoW has prestige. I don't even raid. And even I know, or I don't even play WoW. Or, and But even I know the raids have prestige. That's how it is. Again, I don't want to be a jerk. But I feel like people are being jerks. I... Lying and being deceitful and joining groups they have no right joining. You have you have no right to invade someone else's group when they set expectations. Again, you join a Sherpa, that's the expectation. You're joining new people, that's an expectation. That's fine. More power to them and more power to you. If you if you're successful and you you wiggle your way through this week, that's great. But set your expectations that this is not going to be the norm. Root of Nightmares is not the norm. You will have to play the game and do the mechanics. Ad clear is not a role. Ad clear is a standard attached to the job that you also have to be doing. I am killing ads, but I'm doing my job. I'm doing X while everyone is doing ad clear. And that's the reality. Everyone does add clear at certain points of the, of the of different encounters it's not a one person role at least not all the time i don't know i, I just I, it's really interesting to see the community on fire about this and then to experience 
about almost two hours of my life wasted because people just it's 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 just baffling and then people are actually getting upset that people are being kicking them and people are being rude to them and you know what i don't condone people being hateful in the regard that people are saying nasty things but i think you absolutely deserve flack if you are a piece of crap that joins a group who has set expectations and you're aligned deceitful little poppity boop you need to just scoot scoot back to Fortnite. again that's toxic but it's it's not as toxic as re really being a detriment to other people it, it there's always that one person in a raid and it's been that way since like xbox and playstation days i remember d1 where there was always that one person that would act quiet and they wouldn't say anything when they mess up like oh if i don't say anything then they won't know it's me they won't know that I'm the one I'm messing up. I'm just gonna, nope. Oh, I wonder who who did who did this? Who didn't do the mechanic? Oh man, who who actually shot that? Wasn't me. I didn't. I, I don't know. It, maybe it was him. I, but man, man, guys, I can't believe you did that. Shame. You shouldn't be. There's always that one guy or gal that plays that part and acts like. They have no idea what's going on. Those are the people that you should instantly kick for the sanity of your fire team. And that's just a heads up for anyone holding their own team together. Kick the weakest link. If you spent more than an hour on an, a singular encounter, start kicking. Start kicking your weakest damage. Start kicking the person that's dying all the time. Kick the person that doesn't know what they're doing. Kick them, kick, 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 kick. Kick them all out. You're not being rude. You're not being mean. You are being, being respectful to your time and the time of your team and the health. Because the longer some, uh, something goes without success, the more likely people are going to rage quit. So you might as well focus on the health, especially as you start getting into contest mode. You need to focus on the health of your team. Kick the weakest link. Sorry. Your damage is, is trash. You're dying all the time. You are failing the mechanics. You're causing us to wipe. You're not listening. You're not paying attention. Bye. Good luck in your endeavors. Sayonara. Adios. That is acceptable. You and that's my that's my my I am so fortunate I have a clan. Listen, find you a clan. Find you uh, some players that know what's up. But that's it. I'm Mr. Gaming Counselor. Hit that like button, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel for more. As always, I will see you in like a couple of weeks when I when I review the final week of Pantheon. I will probably do just videos for the next two weeks of my completions of Pantheon. I won't really talk about it, but I will talk about the final wrap-up at the end. I thank you guys. Until next time, game out. I'll see ya. Peace. Huzzah. But what?